this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this fun shaker card with the Seize the Day bundle. All right, here's my first card with the Seize the Day bundle. It's a shaker card. I love shaker cards. They're so much fun. Here is the bundle. It's got all these great creatures and seaweed and it's got this really cool die that creates this opening for which you can use for all kinds of things. So today I'm gonna show you the shaker card. So I've started with two pieces of basic white and they measure three and seven eighths by five and an eighth and I'm gonna do some coloring on them. And I'm gonna use a little scrap paper and then I'm gonna use uh, three colors. I'm gonna use garden green and polished pink and calypso coral. So I'm gonna start with the calypso coral on the bottom. I'm gonna start off the page and then just go across the bottom. And then I'm going to do the granny apple green. Again, I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm just gonna come in and blend it into the, oh, I got a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Okay, I'm gonna blend the whole thing because <laughs> I got so much. And I'm gonna come back to the Coastal Cavana. I'm going to add some more in there. All right. And then we're going to do the polished pink. Okay. Now I'm just going to do the Calypso Coral. I'm sorry the Coastal Cabana on the second piece. And I'm just gonna do it lightly all over. create this nice mystical look here. And then I'm going to ink up this stamp with Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana. So I'm gonna start with Coastal Cabana and I'm gonna put that all in the middle. And then I'm gonna use Granny Apple Green and I'm gonna blend it into all of the edges. And so you get this fun ombre, two-toned seaweed, and I'm gonna stamp two. I'm gonna stamp one here and one over here. Pretty, pretty, okay? And then lastly, I'm gonna stamp some bubbles. I'm gonna turn the stamp 180 and add some more bubbles going like the other way. Okay, lots of fun bubbles. Now we're gonna cut this. Actually, let me do a little bit more coloring. So I have already cut out um, the two pieces out of Coastal Cabana and I'm gonna use the uh, Coastal Cabana. I'm just going to ink these up a little bit. I'm 
get that ombre look again. I'm going for lots of ombre. All right, so that's all the coloring. I'm gonna use these colors again shortly. I am gonna put them over here for now because I need to use my die cutting machine. And I'm going to die cut uh, this piece right here with uh, this die right here. So I'm just going to roll this through. Now we have our die cut piece and it looks so, so cool. You can just pull this out and use the back side for something else. We poke out all these little bubbles and things. So we have our, looks very green this time. So we have our piece right here. So now I have a window sheet. It's a little bit larger. It's four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna attach this to the back side. So I'm gonna use my little rubber mat, my silicone mat, because the adhesive is gonna go off the edges. So now I'm just going to line up the window sheet with two of the sides and then I'll trim off the other two sides. Okay, so I have my front piece already and I have my back piece. So I'm just going to adhere this to the Coastal Cabana card base. Okay. And now I'm going to use my favorite foam strips. These are going to create the space for my sequins for my shaker card. And I'm just going to put it right all along the edge here. And then I'm going to trim that off. And then I'll do the top. Make sure that those edges are tight together. And then I'll use one more strip. And we'll do the bottom edge. And then 
the side edge. Okay, make sure those are all on very securely. We don't want any sequins to fall out. Now we're gonna add our sequins. So I'm using the Sparkle and Shine sequins and I'm just gonna go ahead and use them all. <laughs> um, I've already done three pinches on two other cards. This is my third card, but you can add a lot because you've got quite a bit of space in there. So I am just dumping the whole thing in here. I'm gonna move everything away from the edges so I can secure the piece down and I'm gonna flatten it a little bit so that it kind of doesn't get stuck when I put the top piece on. It's nice to have a little buddy or something to try to get all the sequins off because the sequins definitely want to go everybody, everywhere else except where you want them. So now I'm gonna remove the backing on my foam strips. And I'm going to place this down. I'm gonna line it up with the back piece. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this piece is super secure. And I'm gonna tuck in some of that foam strip. So it looks like I Put it a little bit too close to the edge and there is our shaker part oh my gosh so much fun with all that those sequins in there okay so now we get to add the fun little bits and elements so i colored those this is coastal cabana colored with coastal cabana and then i have a fish that i've colored with granny apple green and coastal cabana as well as a pink starfish and then I have an octopus that I've colored with polished pink and uh, grainy apple green. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I used the grainy apple green and the grainy apple green sponge dauber and the polished pink. And then here is my, I'm gonna clean my octopus. So here's my octopus and I'm gonna do polished pink for her body. And then I'm gonna do granny apple green for her tentacles. And I'm gonna try to blend that in just a little bit because I don't want it to look too muddy. And then I'm just going to stamp that down and then I'll cut that out. Doesn't that look so cool? And I did a similar thing with the fish. So there's my octopus. So now I'm going to use um, some glue dots to adhere on this piece right here. And I'm just going to stick that in down here. And I'm gonna stick one of these leaves coming out like that so they're intertwining. I'm gonna trim off part of this piece right here and then I will add this little leaf with a glue dot as well. And we're going to stick this one right in here as well. Go right over top like that. And then we will entangle the starfish as well. And we'll put the starfish into the coral here, like so. And then we'll do the fish and the octopus on dimensionals. So we've got our octopus 
and we'll entangle the octopus in there like that. We'll do it at the bottom a little bit. Okay, and then we will add our fish in the seaweed as well. So we'll put our fish over here. Or we could put them over here. I think right here is good. I'll put them up a little bit. And there we go. There is our super fun shaker card. So I'm offering a free card class. Uh, there are supplies for six cards. This shaker card, this gel card, there's gel in there, and this underwater card. When you purchase the bundle or place a $40 order using my current host code. So go to my website and check it out and email me and let me know that you would want to get this card kit and I will send it right out to you. Thank you guys so much for watching my video on the Seize the Day bundle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like and leave a comment. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you know every time I go live or post a new video. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.